Now, with most cal calculations that we do with a circle, we'll, um, we want to find the area of a circle by first finding the area of general polygons and then let the number of sides become greater and greater until your polygon approximates the circle really well. So let's start out with calculating the area of a regular polygon. So, so imagine that you have a regular hexagon. So this is a polygon with six sides. Uh, let me draw in the center here and each um, connect each vertex to the center of the polygon. And that will give you exactly six triangles, right? And if this is a regular polygon, that means that all the sides are the same length. So let's suppose that all sides have length S. Now imagine that you're also given another piece of information, and that is the length of the altitude here of that triangle. So then the area of this polygon will be... Well, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six triangles times the area of each of these triangles, because each triangle is, uh, these triangles are all congruent. So that'll be one half times the base, which is, I called S, times the height, which I called A. Right. Now let's see, uh, let me just combine these numbers in a different way. I've got six sides. And I have that factor S appearing six times. So S plus S plus S plus S plus S plus S. That's what 6S is. Multiply those together. And what you actually get is the perimeter. P is the perimeter of this polygon. So then the area becomes 1 half times A times 6S, which happens to, to be the perimeter. All right, so now let's imagine that as like a general polygon. Here I had six, a six-sided polygon, so 6S was the perimeter. Here you've got an n-sided polygon, so then your area is one-half times A times NS, which is the perimeter of this polygon. So now if you have a circle, which is approximated by an n-sided polygon, then the area is approximately one half times a, which is gentle, uh, very close to or equal to the radius of the circle. And then times p, which is the perimeter of the polygon. Now, as you let the number of uh, sides of the polygon get larger and larger, then you, you approximate the, um, then we're approximating the circle. So when you have the number of sides getting larger, the perimeter becomes really close to the circumference of the circle. So then the area would be equal to one half times r times the circumference. And we know from the last section that the circumference is 2 times pi times r. Now 1 half times 2, that those cancel become 1. So my area becomes pi times r times r, which is r squared. So this is where that formula, the area of a circle, is pi r squared comes from. All right, now uh, thinking about this same formula, what if you wanted to find the area of just a sector of the circle? and you know what the angle measure of that sector is. So the area of a sector will then be some fraction of the whole area. So the fraction will be given by the ratio of the angle to the complete revolution. So it'll be this fraction, theta, whatever that angle is, over 360 degrees, that fraction of the total area, which is pi r squared.